ZXT has more than 15 years experience developing award-winning high-quality PC components and Scan have been close partners with them for many years. They're best known for their coolers and their cases, but did you know that they actually offer a full NZXT ecosystem to help make your system as cool as possible in more ways than one? From the case and cooler through to your motherboard, power system and fans, NZXT have you covered. They even have their very own free software, CAM, which allows you to control every aspect of your computer, from performance and temperatures through to lighting, and all from just the click of a button. In order to demonstrate what's possible with NZXT, we've had our 3XS team build this awesome NZXT system. We've opted for the NZXT H510 case in white. Then we've got the NZXT N7 Intel Z490 wireless gaming motherboard. We've gone for the matte white version that you can see here with this smart looking case in around it to match the case. It's also available in matte black. It's got Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, dual M.2 connectors and adaptive noise reduction technology, as well as intuitive control for four RGB lighting channels and seven fan channels through the CAM software, which we're going to show you shortly. We've paired this N7 motherboard with an Intel 10th Gen i7 CPU. For the CPU cooler, we have the NZXT Series Z53 240mm liquid cooler, which has this cool LCD pump screen you can see here, which monitors your CPU temperature. Plus, you can now completely customize the look of your CPU cooler with a custom GIF like we've got here, or important data through CAM. For the GPU, we have chosen the mighty GeForce RTX 3080. This one is the 10 gigabyte XC3 Ultra Gaming from EVGA. We've got 120 millimeter NZXT AER RGB fan here, and 140 millimeter up at the top here. 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. Of course, we've gone for white to match our case and our motherboard. And for the PSU, we have the NZXT C-Series 850W 80 Plus Gold. For storage, this system has a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive and a one terabyte Seagate Firecuda SSD. So overall, a pretty impressive build. We will, of course, list all of the products that we've used in the description for you, but you should definitely check out our NZXT landing page on the SCAN website. It has all of the product categories from NZXT and further information about technologies and lighting. Again, we'll add the link for that in the description for you. So now we have a complete NZXT ecosystem in our PC. Let's take a look at the free monitoring software CAM. With CAM, you can manage performance, temperatures and devices and sync your RGB lighting. This system has CAM pre-installed, but if you've just bought a new NZXT cooler or other product, then all you need to do is head to nzxt.com and download it there for free. Once installed, you just open it up and we'll start with the PC monitoring that you can see here. You get this really nice clear dashboard where you can see things like the CPU and GPU and it will display temperatures. We've also got here top processes where you'll see a drop down of all the things that are using processor power. Let's take a look at system specs. Just very simple, does what it says on the tin, shows you everything that's in this particular system here. Games is a nice one. You can see the games that you've been playing and for how long uh, with things like average frame rate displayed. Let's dive in now to the lighting and we can show you how you can start to get some uh, customization in here and sync up various different parts of your PC. We've got Nikki here, which is a profile that we set up earlier. But if we drop down there, you can see some of the preset ones in there. Spectrum Wave is a nice one. You can see you've got your cooler and your fans synced up there. And let's also take a look at Red Alert. So you can get some really nice uh, different looks there with that one. So if we go back to the profile that we set up earlier and called Nikki, I can show you how you can start to customize some different areas of that. So for example, you could change uh, what's actually displayed on various parts. You can have things like your fans pulsing, etc. And then let's take a look at the GIF that we've uploaded here. If you wanted to change that, you can see here, simply upload GIF and you can add one in there. Studio team had a little bit of fun earlier and stuck my face on there, but let's quickly move on from that one. And then if you wanted to change it from GIF, you can see here, you just click where it says GIF and you can display some really cool stuff. Dual infographic shows you there your CPU and your GPU temperatures, which is really nice. But you can have those displayed singularly or you could display things like your liquid temperature, which is really nice. 
Likewise for the fans, if you click on there, you'll see we've got it on fixed at the moment with the blue colour. If you press on the drop down, there's loads of different looks that you can achieve there. Let's take a look at Spectrum Wave. And you'll get a different look there. Also, things like Pulse is another nice one. And you can change the colour in there as well if you wanted to. We'll pop it on blue. And again there. And of course, the more fans you have, you'll just have a profile for each of them under there. You can also customise your cooling and your audio. And if you go under settings here, you'll see profile sync brings up this screen. That's where you can get them all to sync together. You'll see lighting, cooling and audio. So I've chosen a profile here by lighting and cooling, one that I made earlier. I'm happy with default for audio, so I've selected that there. And then I've saved that as Nikki Gaming as the overall profile. So you can have a number of profiles that you can add in here and you can do things like set it to launch and sync with a particular game. So for example here, we might select Minecraft, that profile would load up when we load that game. Um, you can also select specific times. So for example, you might set it to come on at midnight, flash red, just so you know you've been gaming for too long. Or perhaps you might even want to dim the lights at a certain time. There is literally so much that you can do within this program. Okay, so if we go back to the main menu, you can see in here as well as all the customization options, that you can also overclock through cam and you can view in this window things like your clock speeds and your temperatures. Pretty cool, hey? So if you're thinking about a whole new build, you should definitely check out the NZXT ecosystem. Or if you've already got a system and want to know how you can make it a cam-powered gaming PC, then you could invest in an NZXT smart case and perhaps a new generation Kraken cooler and the N7 Z490 motherboard. Of course, Scan sells a wide range of NZXT's products and there's plenty to choose from. As mentioned earlier, take a look through our dedicated NZXT landing page for more information on the product range.